Um, who else is on the call then? And we'll see if anybody else has any questions. Dave's on the call. Thank you. Dave and Ray, how are you guys doing? Um, so what's everybody working on? Anybody have a question that we need to work on? I would like, if you could, some quick, I'm really trying to get as familiar with uh, PowerPoint. If you could just a quick start to finish the shortcuts to to, to PowerPoint, because I've been up with the heat waves. I've had a lot, a lot of work, and I've taken more pictures. And actually what I'm working on is I have come up with an idea that if, I, if, if your air conditioner could talk, what would it say about you? And then run with that. Because the like biggest that. problem is most people are going to collect their air conditioners. So I'll yeah, have my I, can, air I can see an air conditioner, you know, going, oh, dude, you're killing me here. Right. I love that. I, was, I can't get <laughs> going to change the filters. I can't get them. So that way it becomes educational, funny, and hopefully um, viral. And so right. that's, oh, that's – At the end of that little conversation – uh, well, first of all, what's your end goal with that video? Call or contact the schedule for, for a, an AC tuna. Okay. So here's your ending for that video and your call to action, right? Your air conditioner's talking. He's complaining. He's saying, you know, uh, you're killing me here. Oh, I, can, I just get, can I get a filter on up in here or something like that? And then at the end, he's like, you know what? I'm out of here. Forget this. <laughs> or it dies, <laughs> or you right. killed your air conditioner, your poor air conditioner, you know, and that's your call to action, uh, kind of ending it, ending it up. So that might be kind of cool. Let's see. Uh, you want the quick and dirty on PowerPoint? Okay. Uh, so let's look at just doing some a uh, couple of quick things. And do, do you have anything specific? In mind, when you say you want the quick and dirty on PowerPoint, what do you need to know? Basics of, let's say, if you had to put together a quick little video or a, a PowerPoint presentation, just discuss on how you would go about it. No, no major, just how you quickly would go through. Uh, okay. I literally want to say, if your air conditioner could talk, what would it say about you? And then have a call out next to a real air conditioner saying, I'm a condenser, I haven't been cleaned, blah, blah, blah. So sure. that's the best of it. And at the end, just call, and then call my company. Here's how I would get started, and uh, first of all, what version of PowerPoint do you have? I have 10, uh, 2010. Okay, awesome. Um, I would open up a blank PowerPoint slide. The very first thing you do is not worry about what it looks like necessarily. Uh, I mean, if you have a template, if you've gone through that kind of thing or whatever, that's great, but I would start uh, kind of with the either creating just a couple of new slides Okay, and just start putting in some ideas. Uh, you can also go to the outline piece here and literally create an outline. So, you know, you have an opening, and, you know, then you have, uh, in, you introduce your air condition, your AC unit, uh, you know, or whatever. In, so, like an intro or whatever. So the, 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 the point of that being that this gives you a, at least some kind of start to a flow for the thing. Right. right. So you need physical slides to get anything going. And then what I do sometimes is, you know, I'll just look at this uh, concept or idea of what I want to do and just start putting in a few notes. Now these don't have to be the bullet points that you're going to use. These could, this slide could be just for the ideas of the opening or the tasks that you need to perform. Like you might need to, you know, get some AC pictures. Right, I got you. Okay, whatever. Um, and then so just some key points or ideas. And don't worry that, you know, you might not have it nailed right off the bat. This is kind of a brainstorming process. Okay, so once you get, you know, a little bit of an outline and a little bit of a flow going, then you can start to add, you know, actual. So these are like planning slides, right? And in PowerPoint, what you can do is you can right-click and hide this slide. That means it's still in your slide deck, but when you go to run the, the show to record it, these won't 
pop up. So you have like a planning document, and then down here, you'll start your actual slides, you know, and put in your bullets and your images and, you know, stuff like that. Okay. That's a big help. I guess it, because yeah, I, I can see that. that would, it would make it flow easier for me if I put what I want to get done. So I do my own brainstorming, put all the stuff there, and I didn't know that you could hide slides. So that works yep. too. So that, that, that's, that's the judgment. So you can hide slides. And the thing I like about that is, okay, now I'm working on this slide, right? This is the actual slide. And I'm thinking, well, what, what was I going to do there again? Oh, yeah, I need some of this. Or this was my next idea. That's okay? Big, big, so it makes it really big. nice to be able to then craft yeah. out your message. Now, the, the other thing that I always do when I create PowerPoint slides is I put in some slides at the very end. And these I make blank slides. And the way you do that is you right click on the slide, go to layout, and then choose blank. Okay, now it's a blank slide. There's no header, there's no bullets, there's no nothing like that. And what I do on these slides is I start tossing in images. Okay, so here, you know, so I have, uh, let's say I've, I've downloaded some images or I've gotten some, some stock ones or I went to, you know, uh, uh, presenter media and I found some, let's say, oh, for yours, uh, here we go. That might be a good one. Okay. And just start, you know, you can resize them any way you want, make them small. Uh, but then if that fits into my intro slide, then you can just copy it and put it into your into your deck. Okay, but I like to collect the images here because I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I might. And, you know, if you get like a pile of images here, then all of a sudden stuff starts to kind of visually come together in your mind, right? So then you can kind of, sometimes I'll even make a slide or a message around a graphic, you know? Uh, you know so this could actually be a message, you know? Here's your first aid kit for your air conditioner. Boy. So you never really know what's going to kind of happen uh, if you just start kind of monkeying around with uh, with some different stuff. And, oh, you know, I'm sure there's probably, oh, here's a good one, cost cutting. There you go. I um, might use that. And like I say, sometimes I'll just make them real small so I can still see them. You can always resize them in your actual slides, right? So no big deal there. <laughs>